Gattu's wisdom. It was evening. Gattu Chinki went out for cycling on the road with their friends. Seeing the red signal, all the kids stopped their cycles. Gattu noticed that many people were breaking the signals and running in a hurry. Don't know why people think it's funny to break signals. They break the signal and then become a victim of road accident. Don't know how many people lose their lives due to daily road accidents. Still the citizens do not follow rules. If there is no traffic police at the signal, they just break the signal and leave. Then a scooter came and stopped near the children. Seeing the children, the scooter man laughed and said, <laughs> "Hey kids, why are you waiting for the signal? You have cycles. You can go. Nobody will see anything." Hearing this, Gattu said, "No uncle, be it cycle or motorcycle, everyone should follow the rules." It is wrong to follow the rule out of fear of the police and breaking the rules if there is no police. The rules are made for our own safety. It is foolish to break them. Hearing this, the scooter man started laughing. <laughs> you guys are stupid. In which era you are living? Time doesn't stop for anyone. You also don't stop for time either. I also won't stop. Saying this, the scooter man left taking his scooter. Look. Another man broke the signal and left. Whatever others say, we won't break the signal. We will go ahead only after getting the green signal. All the children kept waiting for the green signal. And as soon as they got the green signal, the children moved their cycles comfortably. And everyone left. After coming a short distance, the children saw that there was a lot of crowd on the road. The crowd had blocked the entire road. The children parked their cycles on the side of the road. Looks like someone has met an accident. Come, we should go there and see what happened. The children parked their cycles on the side of the road and tried to enter the crowd. The crowd was huge and no one was allowing the children to enter further. Hey children, where are you going? Go from here. Go. Still the kids kept on moving inwards like that. By hook and crook they were able to break through the crowd and enter gattu chinki and all the children were shocked to see the inside view because the same man who brought the signal and ran away was inside buried under the scooter injured hey this is the same man who we met at the signal he was right time doesn't stop for anyone it didn't stop for him either gattu saw that the scooter man was injured and was buried under the scooter but no one was helping him from the crowd and people were recording videos and taking photos of him gattu got sad seeing this we should go forward and help him what are you talking man we should leave from here we should not get into this mess no hurry if we will also think like other people then what will be the difference between them and us these people are recording videos shamelessly but we are educated and intelligent children aren't we If we don't help him then he will die. Yes ma'am, we must help him out. Chinky, you call the ambulance and we will lift the scooter. Then what? Gattu along with Hari and other friends came near the scooter and started lifting it. The scooter was really heavy. They couldn't even move the scooter. Still the children kept pushing. And finally they parked the scooter. Then Gattu helped the scooter man to stand with his support. Chinki brought water and Gattu gave him water. Uncle, are you all right? But the uncle was not in condition to speak. He is seriously injured. I have called on 108 number. The ambulance will arrive soon. After a while, the ambulance came and picked up the uncle and took him to the hospital. Now a large crowd had gathered around Gattu and Chinki and rest of the children. People were praising them. Kid, you guys have done a great job. and uh, i want to take selfie with you gattu got angry hearing this aren't you people ashamed all you care about and all you need is selfies and videos that uncle was buried under the scooter and all you were just shooting videos on your mobiles accidents are not entertainment it is a serious matter we kids were picking up the scooter and you all were playing spectators who knows if this accident happens with you tomorrow Then how will you feel if no one helps you and shoots your video with a mobile? Be a little more serious and wise. Behave like good citizens and help each other. Hearing Gattu's words, 
the whole crowd got embarrassed and everyone's eyes automatically bowed down in shame gattu's new bicycle it is common dream of every child during their childhood to have a bicycle of their own gattu was riding a bicycle he was the only one to have a bicycle in the whole society hari guddi and chinki were looking at him with envy he's the only one who has a cycle in our society that's why he's showing so tantrums gattu wait let me ride one round too man but why would gattu give his cycle to anyone all the kids started running after gattu and gattu seemed to be enjoying that he started running the bicycle with pedaling fast and the kids kept running after him gattu please just one round yaar promise gattu was looking at hari when suddenly he saw watchman uncle walking ahead gattu started ringing the cycle bell loudly the speed also slowed down the children running behind were about to touch his cycle uncle get away The sound of the bell kept on increasing. It went on increasing, and suddenly Gattu woke up from his sleep. Gattu quickly sat down on the bed. Shit, man! It was a dream. Ah, uh, what's the matter? Bicycle bell is still reverberating in my ears. The sound of the bell was coming continuously. It was coming from outside, not from Gattu's dream. Gattu ran into the gallery and looked down and saw Hari standing below with his new cycle, ringing the bell. Hari also got cycle. Gattu came running to Hari. How is my cycle? It's great, man. When did you buy it? You didn't have it till yesterday. Hearing this, Hari said with a trepidation. It's a surprise gift from Dad. He brought it last night. I was sleeping. When I woke up, the bicycle was in front of me. You are very lucky, man. You have your own cycle now. Give me, please. I will come back after one round. I know how to ride a bicycle. My brother Harsh had taught me. Don't even think. My mother had told me not to lend the cycle to anyone. One round, please. Please. I promise just one round. But Hari did not agree and Gattu got angry. Okay, fine. Even I won't let you touch my cycle. Where? In your dreams. <laughs> Gattu became even angrier. and hari left riding his bicycle with pride just wait and watch i will have a better bike than you gattu got upset and went back home mom dad and chinki were sitting in the hall where have you been now go and get fresh and have your breakfast we are done already but gattu was quite angry i don't want to have breakfast i will neither eat nor do anything today huh what happened to you suddenly Now Hari also has got a new cycle. His father has gifted him. I am the only one left in the society who does not have a bicycle. Saying this, Gattu started crying. Hmm. Early morning the nagging for cycle has started. Stop crying now. Everyone has it that doesn't mean you also have to have it. You also have too many toys which no one has. It is not necessary that you will have everything that the others have. Dad, you promised When I grow up, you will buy me a cycle. Son, when will you grow up a little more? I definitely buy you a cycle. If things keep going on like this, then I will turn into an old man. Hearing this, his parents and Chinki started laughing, and Gattu got even angrier and ran into the room. Throughout the day, Gattu kept crying in his room. He stopped taking bath, eating, and drinking. Gattu, son, open the door. Good children don't nag like this. I am not a good child. When I will grow up, then I will be called a good child. Hearing this, his mother also became sad and went to his father and said, "He is stubbornly standing on his point. Let's buy him a cycle. Everyone have cycles. He also must be having a desire to have one." Chinki screamed even before dad could say anything on this. "If you buy one for him, I want one too." See, Now this demand machine has also started. Now what to tell her? Chinki, do you know how to ride a bicycle yet? When Gattu will get a cycle, he will teach you. And when you will learn, then we will buy a new cycle for you too. Okay? Chinki agreed. And Papa went to Gattu's room, persuaded him to have breakfast, and both of them went to the market to get a cycle. 
There were many beautiful and sparkling cycles in the market. But Gattu had to take a better cycle than Hari. He chose an expensive cycle with gears. Gattu, this one is really expensive. So what dad, we buy a cycle only once. We don't buy something like this every day. I want this cycle only. Okay brother, we'll take this cycle. Then what? Along with Gattu and dad, the cycle also reached their home. Mom performed some religious rituals for the cycle and Gattu rode on the cycle. Gattu was now very happy flying in the air. The dream which he used to have every day has come true. Gattu's cycle was different and the best. All the children were looking at Gattu with wide open eyes. Gattu, you ride my cycle and I will ride yours. Don't even think. I am not going to give my cycle to anyone. There are gears in his cycle. That's why so many tantrums. As soon as mom came to know about this, mom said, Gattu, this is wrong. No matter how someone treats you, but you should always treat them well. We should never feel very proudy about what all things we have. Think about your brother Harsh. If he won't have let you ride his cycle, then how would you have learned cycle? Be like Harsh. Come on. And now teach Trinky how to ride a cycle. Sorry, mom. I will never do this again. Come on, Trinky. Then what? Trinky sat on the cycle and with the help of Gattu, she also started learning and enjoying riding bicycle. अगर आपको हमारी वीडियोस पसंद आ रहे हैं, तो इन्हें लाइक करें, कमेंट करें और सब्सक्राइब करें।